Welcome to Press Start. We're talking about actual garbage. Well, as you all know, Sonic the Hedgehog is the famous blue blur that hit the scenes in the early to late 1990s on the Sega Genesis and a little bit on the Master System. I don't know a whole lot about Sonic. All I know about is uh, the Sonic Adventure series, really. Played those a little bit as a kid. Really enjoyed it. Watched Sonic X. Totally dug it. I was down to clown with that crazy little blue blur and his friends and his groups. But good God, has he been mistreated for the last 15 years. Sonic 06 is considered one of the worst video games of all time, and believe it or not, it didn't really get better after that. Uh, even though some people would argue it did, it didn't. A lot of garbage. Sonic Colors was maybe the only good thing to come out, and they're redoing it in really simplistic fashion. I don't, uh, I, the, do you, what's you guys' relationship with the blue blur, with Sonic the Hedge Man? Ready, have one. Yeah, I, I have no horse uh, in this place. Yeah. I, really care less. I remember coloring pictures of him when I was like five years old and making my own Sonic fan character. Don't remember what his name was, but he was green and he was pretty cool. So I totally love Sonic. Is this you announcing you're a furry? Yeah, I'm a full on furry. That's what it's like. out. You're, you're I did have, I, I, I don't know what your, like your Sonic fan character. That was like a really common thing in that community. And I don't remember what mine was. I wish I had saved some of it because that would have been really funny to look back on my little like six year old drawing of my Sonic fan character. But Sonic, it holds a special place in my heart even though I haven't enjoyed any Sonic game except for Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is really good. I know I'm being very hard on it and I'm saying they've done nothing good. Sonic Mania is really cool. Uh, Sonic Colors is pretty neat. Uh, that's about, Sonic Team Racing I guess is okay. Uh, but this was supposed to be the showcase to end all showcases in terms of Sonic things. We were supposed to see the future, and the future is really, like, mediocre. It's, like, a bunch of garbage no one cares about, and then the two things people care about. Two games. Barely anything was shown for them. And one of them is a remake, remaster, for Sonic Colors. It's called, uh, Sonic... Colors Ultimate, what's it called? Sonic, uh... Yeah, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Yeah. That's a good name. It looks, it looks nice. It's not anything new. It's gonna be $60. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's gonna cost us money to play an Xbox 360 game that looks only a little bit better. And then the new game, which is the one thing I really cared about, because I want Sonic Adventure 3. I want, uh, I want a game of that style, where it's like open world a little bit, and you get to mess around. We, uh, like, Cammy, can you go ahead and describe what that uh, trailer was? I'll put it on screen oh, at I, the same time. I can Beyond read my notes for you if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Describe exactly that scene. Set the scene for everybody. Sonic running. 2022. That's that it. Right? There you go. That's the goddamn <laughs> teaser. What garbage! I like we would we can assume that Sonic is going to run in the game about Sonic, except for the one time he's in a car and the other time when he's on a skateboard. Even then he still ran sometimes. Like it, ideally Sonic is faster than a car, so it doesn't make much sense to be using cars. But th th that is that that that's like I think one of the most garbage teasers I've ever seen, and there's been a lot of garbage teasers, not so much in the gaming industry, but like the Marvel movies that release like one like still shot. They're like, oh, this is the teaser for the teaser for the trailer, and like Star Wars does it too. Like that's absolute garbage. This is the worst I have ever seen because it is giving you information on something we already like know for sure and nothing else. It's like they thought people forgot what Sonic's thing was. He they likes to go that. fast. <laughs> he likes <laughs> to run. We, they, they might not remember. Let's jog their memories with some nostalgia of him running. Like, good God, Sega. This was this is shockingly bad. And we, I think most of us thought they were going to like announce they were being sold to Microsoft. But they're not like they're they're doubling down. <laughs> they're embarrassing I mean, I mean, themselves. Microsoft is smart enough to know that's a bad investment. 
I just I, now they're gonna have to they'll they'll wait two years and they'll be able to buy Sega for forty five dollars. Like it's falling apart. This is insanity. <laughs> this is it's, I, really, I, it's just not. It's it's really honestly pathetic. That was a huge jump for you. Okay. It was such a big jump. He's yeah. made you pixelate again. He pixelated you. <laughs> Broke the camera. <laughs> uh, um. I'm gonna make you a pixel with that. Bye. Bye, Finley. Bye, it's Finley. just, I don't know, you can do, like, you can get away with the bare minimum sometimes, depending on your, like, what franchise you're dealing with and what your studio name is. But Sega, most people view as being on the down trajectory. You know, they're, they're not going up, they're struggling. And this is not how you comfort people. You know, you gotta come out swinging, you gotta blow people away. And this thing, I, I don't. I haven't seen a single positive reaction. Have you guys seen any positive reactions? Uh, no. There's gonna be a Sonic outfit in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics game. There's gonna be Sonic themed items for Two Point Hospital. There's gonna be Sonic Fighters arcade machine playable that... in Lost Judgment. There's gonna be working on Sonic Origins, a compilation of games that have already come out. There's gonna be Sonic Forces, Team Sonic Racing, Sonic Mania coming to PlayStation Plus in June. There's gonna be birthday events in the Sonic Mobile game and Sonic Prime, a Netflix show they've already talked about, is still happening. Yay! That Sonic uh, outfit for the Olympic game was so hilarious to me. I thought it was like a joke. I thought they were honestly like, look how stupid yeah. this one looks. Because it's like a full body dude and they just put the mesh of Sonic on it. It's supposed to be like a mascot outfit, but it's just so good. bad. But yeah, no one has anything positive to say about this because there's nothing positive in it. It's just a bunch of garbage. Uh, we'll see how Sonic Colors remake is, if it's $60. Uh, if it's actually worth that, a lot of these remakes, I feel like, have not been worth it. Every once in a while, you get one that really is, like Mafia or uh, Resident Evil 2, but uh, or, or uh, Final Fantasy 7. But I don't see Sega being the company to really nail a remake when they can't nail the games originally. Like, they've chosen the one game in, like, the Good last point. 10 years. They, they, they chose the one game that was good in the last 10 years that they made. They could have chose, like, any of them. They could have made, like, a good version of uh, Sonic and the Black Knight. They could have made a better version of Sonic 06. They could have, like, doubled down and tried to win some fans over. Imagine if they remade Sonic 06 to be what they wanted it to be. Like, that'd be really cool. But the fact that they're remaking a game that people already like shows that they might just want to do, like, a little bit of an HD upscale... And then we'll wait and see for the next one. But it doesn't seem like they they, they care much uh, about making a better game. They kind of just want to ride out the wave of Sonic for as long as they can until people get fed up. And then in 2022, we'll see what new game they have. That's the Sega rant. Like and subscribe. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Or don't. Or don't. Honestly, I'd say buy it, because if it's on Switch, that'd be pretty sick. And I know if it's hard on Sega, but they need it, they need to hear it. Sonic fans need to accept it. Sega's done some good stuff though, recently. Not like knocked out of the park, but they're I want Billy Hatcher too and I want more monkey ball, that's about it. But it seems like they're oh, getting kinda lazy. The... Oh yeah, more Yakuza too. It, see, Sega does some good stuff. Sonic is not one of those things they're doing well. Sell Sonic to yeah. Nintendo and let them handle it. Uh that's my little personal opinion. That's press start. We'll see you all next time. Go home. Go home.